This is Guy showing you my arcade machine collection. Um, all my machines aren't in the same place because I don't really have a game room and uh, the doorway is too small to actually fit one of them through and to get inside my house so that one's in the garage. But let's start here. Uh, start off with uh, this Blitz slash Showtime machine. Bought this in 2006. Um, when I bought it it was originally just Blitz 2000 and then I purchased the kit off eBay that has Blitz and Showtime pretty much two of the greatest multiplayer arcade games of all time um, only modification I did to this was the hard drive to compact flash conversion because the hard drives on these things are very finicky and they tend to die a lot uh, so the compact flash is a little bit more reliable and has a little bit better load times because it is a 3D game of course, everything's set on free play. Um, monitor is a little iffy on this machine because it's so old. I think it's dying. It starts out really dark. Um, takes a while for it to warm up and uh, to get a bright picture going. But it doesn't look that bad, so I, I can live with it for now. Uh, next machine is my Sega New Astro City. I purchased this from... Arcade Infinity in Rowan Heights, California that recently went out of business. I got it this year, 2011. Um, pretty standard Japanese candy cabinet. Uh, I got the three player control panel on right now. Um, I ordered up a six button one, so that should be coming soon. Uh, on it, I have a main machine with hyperspin running and uh, main ROM set as you can see so you just go through and uh, when you want to play a game you just hit start and it loads up um, also inside it I have a Naomi kit with Virtua Tennis and uh, I just can swap the JAMA harness over whenever I want to play that uh, I am missing the, the light bulb for inside which bugs me but I can live with it Next up is my Mega Touch Max Ruby 2. This is a uh, Mega Touch game you normally see in bars and some arcades and a full hall or whatever. Um, it's got the touch screen. I think it's got about 150 games split up by category. A lot of really good ones on here. This one is really popular when I have parties over at my house because um, each game has its own individual high score list and some of the competitions get very heated. My favorite game on here is uh, Hoop Jones, high score, 3 or 4, set in 2007, pretty good. Um, got this off eBay, I think in 2006. Uh, it was relatively cheap for a, for a Mega Touch game, especially a new one. Um, yeah, these are a lot of fun. I definitely recommend, if you're an arcade collector, to pick one of these up. Final game in my collection is this Beat Mania The Final. Uh, this is a classic five key beat mania machine. Um, the final kit is really rare. I don't think there were very many of them ever made. Um, I actually bought this machine as Beat Mania Complete Mix 2, also from Arcade Infinity. Um, but then I upgraded years later, I think about eight or nine years later, when I finally located a kit for sale that was uh, at a comfortable price, like not a thousand dollars pretty much. Um, if you've never heard of Beat Mania, it's a DJ simulation game. The notes scroll down and you hit the keys on the keyboard and turn the turntable. So that's it for my collection. Thanks a lot for watching.